Well, we all have a picky eater or two amongst our family and friends, but picky eaters can be special people. That's right. Some of us might have been picky eaters when we were younger. Um, but the, the big problem, though, is obviously they can cause some problems when you're trying to plan a menu. Yes, and they can also influence the nutritional quality of what we cook. And our guest chef will help us solve that picky eater problem. Leia Kedem with the Advice Session is back with what's for dinner. Hello. Were you a picky eater? I was. I'm ashamed to admit. <laughs> oh, I'm much no. better now, though. I got it from my mom. And as, a, and as a reformed picky eater, you have ways that you can help other Absolutely. picky eaters <laughs> experiment with some new food. Yeah, you know, I can relate. So, you know, this is a dish that I love, and, okay, broccoli is one of those things that kids are super picky about. Yeah. Okay, but it's so full of good nutrition, and parents a lot of times try to get their kids to eat it to Time no to avail. It yeah. So how do we do it? We make cheesy penne with chicken and broccoli. Oh, <laughs> I love that solution. Yes. Yum, that sounds delicious. I know. So, and the nice thing about it is lots of people have the, these ingredients already in their pantry and fridge. So it's, yeah. and it's a one dish meal, really. So instead of having to worry about getting all the food groups, they're pretty much all in there. Okay. Which is what's yeah. helpful because the picky eaters usually take out the things like the vegetables exactly. that are, are not the most fun to eat, but usually have the most are the are the most the densest is that most yeah dense? nutrient the dense yes you yes, got it I listen to you Leia <laughs> I'm I do. so glad <laughs> so yeah you know we we have our grains which is going to be a whole grain penne pasta okay. you could also do rotini or any kind of pasta that you like um, you know we've got that going in our boiling water here now our picky are people picky about whole grain pasta versus regular? They can regular? be. They can be. So, you know, instead of um, doing the whole grain right off the bat, you can start with whole wheat blends. Um, or there's actually white pasta. It's white in color, but it's still whole grain. Oh, there you go. Yes. So you can try doing that first if they don't like Make the 100%. Make the transition easier. That's right. We're all about small changes. So That's right. You make your, um, your whole grain pasta. It's going in the pot. Okay. Then we have to talk about our broccoli. Okay. The nice thing is we're actually using fresh here, and what you can do to make the most of your pasta water, mm -hmm. saves dishes as well, is, is actually fresh. to just toss the broccoli in the boiling water with the pasta about two to four minutes before the pasta is finished cooking. Okay, now depending on um, how soft you want the broccoli to be, you know, you'll change when you put it in. So if you want it more crisp, then you put it in closer to the end of the cooking time for the pasta. If you want it a little bit softer, you know, give it a little extra time, closer to four minutes. Okay. Okay. And now, you gotta find out from your family too how crunchy you want it to be because I know some people that just boil yes. a pack out of everything. Yeah, texture is a big thing with yeah. kids. So you have to, you know, ask them how they like it. A lot of times they like it kind of mushier. Yeah. Or other times they don't like that crunch. So you gotta ask. Okay, so we've got our pasta going. What what yes. else do we need to do to okay. get started? We gotta do our chicken. Okay. Our, okay. our awesome low fat lean protein. So we've got chicken breast here, boneless, skinless, of course. Cut up into, you know, pieces that are bite size, kind of almost like a chicken nugget. Yes, and it is raw. So we're going to do almost like a shake and bake thing. So we've got that oh, bag there. Okay. Yep, put you guys to work. <laughs> and toss that chicken in there. And these are just seasoned breadcrumbs. And we're going to give them a toss. Sorry, I'm a little slow. All it's right. okay. <laughs> give them a toss in the seasoning. And what we do is we just bake them. We're kind of doing almost a faux fry. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we put them on our baking sheet. And we're going to bake them in the oven at about 350. For It really doesn't take long for them to cook because they're in small pieces. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe about 12 minutes. Okay, right. so they kind of get a little bit crisp. And... Um, you know, you have to be careful to watch them, otherwise they can get a little bit dry. Great job. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Nice and evenly okay, coated. Okay, we've, we've got to go, but yes. you're going to stick around and we'll get this all played. And we're going to make the see. cheesy sauce. Yeah, we got a couple, we're going to check in with Leia a couple <laughs> okay. times this hour and have yeah. a little fun. If you want to check out the recipe now, though, it's online. Just go to CILiving.tv. Well, 